Hey folks, this is Vagrant. Welcome back to Star Wars Jedi Survivor. In the last video, we explored the Reiki Robo Blow but the caverns. All right, we explored the caverns. I don't remember what they're called, but the, the cavernous, the cavernous caverns. And now, I want to see. Can I get in that room? That little red door there. Puzzle. Puzzle. In this day and age. Okay, so we're going to try to get that chest. And then we're going to do a little bit of exploration in the area. Because um, we have two more rumors now unlocked on Kobo. And we've got a new exploration capabilities as we've seen recently. So let's try and see if we can figure out how on earth we, uh, we do this puzzle. There's an attached thing there. There's an attached thing there. There's a red door. There's a zippy zoopy thing. Attached thing there. Attached thing there. Zippy zoopy thing. It's all the information I have right now. <laughs> okay. If I attach this over here, but th wasn't this already attached over here? I think I moved this from here to there. Well, I can plug this in here. Okay. And then I can... Zip, zap, zoop the thing over here. I don't bloody know. <laughs> it looks really weird. Oh. Oh, something happened. Weather's gonna ah. turn. Some, I think something happened. Nothing happened. Life is pain. I don't really get this, if I'm honest. Um, ah, doocy way. Doocy way indeed, my friends. Doocy way indeed. Is this your house? You want to let me in? Come on, Jawas. I helped you. I saved you, Jawas. I saved you. Ooh, I want to get in there as well. <laughs> right, I'm going to pet the... It feels relevant. I'm going to pet the thing. It's going to help somehow. <laughs> hmm. Oh, hey. That's what that's all. I love them. <laughs> I don't get this at all. Uh... I can connect that to here or to there. That is very strange to me because it, it doesn't. I don't know. Interesting. That's the first time it it seems to have done something. Has that opened? What the heck in heck? <laughs> Yo, whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I don't have a clue what I did differently, but it worked. I'll take it. We've got the swoop blaster. And now what we should be able to do is drag that over to the other side and then to the Jawa house and get that, that little treasure in there as well. Is that, is that permanent? Yeah, okay. Was it just... Was it a timing thing? Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> It's very odd. It's going to carry this huge hunk of uh, simmering electricity on my shoulders. Nothing to see here. Perfectly safe and reasonable thing to do. Jam that in there. Are we still good? Yeah, I think so. Oh, hey, buddy. <laughs> not, 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 I, this is not where I need to get out. Thank you. It's an eager little beaver, to say the least. Abattoir. Right, sweet. Just give me another skill point. I've not had enough of them recently. <laughs> okay, game. <laughs> uh, right, okay, cool. Cool, so that should be this bit done. There's a chest up there. There's a chest in the stables as well, which I'm assuming we can do 90% of things at this point. Oh, hello. You keeping on Doma's good side, friend? She ain't a woman you'd want to cross. We wouldn't dream of it. Doma's done a lot for us. And for us as well. 
Sometimes I think she's all that's holding us together. Yeah, she's something else. Some folk are just like that. They hold things together. I mean, look, Doma's great. I love Doma. Has she done a lot for us? Really? I don't think so. I can't think of really anything she's done for us. She's a good egg. But that's about it. Hmm. Right, so that's where we're trying to get into. Um... I'm gonna borrow you if you don't mind, pal. Do I not just jump over? A scoover over there. Why is he over there? Also, I can't seem to jump when I'm inside this building. So I assume I have to do this. Ah, right. This is what we needed differently. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. It feels like a bit of a artificial limitation, it must be said. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, unique metal for BD. That's cool. How the heck do I get out? <laughs> that'll, that'll teach you. Yeah. Wait, how, how, wait what? How do I... Wait, what? Game. <laughs> Game. I'm scared. Can I, can I, um, just, just bear with, just bear with me, just bear with me, just bear with, I'll figure it out. Will I figure it out? <laughs> um, can I climb on this? Yeah, okay. There's really no indication if we're honest, but whatever. It's fine. There we go. Great success. Skuma, Skuva, Stev, Skuva's Dev. Yet more fishies. This is number nine, I believe. That's interesting, because he's definitely not been here in the past. In this area, surely I'd have noticed him. Forgive the sore greeting, lad. I'm always on edge when fishing for the finger lipped Garpon. What a name. And fierce as they come. But that doesn't deter the poachers. The poor Garpon, despite its rarity, is a delicacy for the black of heart and a rumbly of belly. In we go! <laughs> My only problem with this animation is it doesn't look like he's getting a fish in the slices, does it? He's just, he's just stroking the ground and the fish appears eventually. The finger lip garpon. That is finger lipped. The finger lip garpon named its name for the long digit like lower lip that protrudes dramatically ahead of it. The fish traverses bodies of water by gliding as close to the bottom as possible. It is unknown how this fish has survived so long as it seems entirely at the mercy of both predators and avid culinarians. Ah, did you see that beauty? Two plump fins. A fine compliment to glands. <laughs> a scrumptious. Varicose tongue. Fishing on an empty stomach, Scuva? Hey, I, I can't succumb to the passions of the stomach. The garpon must live. I'd better get me mind off it. Then spin your tail. Of course, buddy. So, after years of searching for the great whale, I returned home to the frozen shores of Sakavi Tar, where my tale began. And this world on which I was weaned and warmed seemed by a moon to be careworn eyes. So, Small. I foot slogged my way back to Undun's cave, but I found it empty and somehow colder than I remembered. You know, lad, sometimes the truth brings peace and sometimes it brings sadness. The fish is nae always what you thought it would be when it bit the line. I dragged myself out of that cave and back to my village. And what I discovered next sent a spar through me thrice pickled belly. All me kith and kin, old and barren, ravaged by famine and cold, for none other than Captain Wanyak Wet had been fishing in their waters, sparing what few fish remained and taking them off world. And so it was that I found myself once again in search of the dread captain and his crew. Not just for my own justice, but to liberate my very home. When we next speak, I'll tell you what became of my crusade. Very curious. 
BD needs to calm down. It's a very fidgety. I, I get it, BD. As soon as someone starts talking for like a prolonged period of time, I'm like, Rrr. start clicking on things and touching things. But we must resist. It's just over there. This is a problem now. <laughs> I can see all these chests, and suddenly there's like all these shiny things just calling to me, trying to distract me. But it's very nearby, so I'm gonna go grab it. If we can indeed grab it. Here we go. A lot of them are just gonna be those ones that we couldn't do in the past. Where is it? It's there. Uh, God, these guys are everywhere these days. Okay. How do I get up there? It looks like I can get up that way, doesn't it? Yeah. I feel like I was here in the past and I couldn't explore. Oh no, I remember this bit. Wait, did I do this last time? I do remember this bit. I think I just didn't have the movement to get around. But I don't, I don't think I realized last time that I could climb on the ceiling. I don't remember realizing I could climb on the ceiling last time. Because clearly I didn't need the dash to get over here. I was that a I was here ages ago, absolutely ages ago, and I was super confused. I didn't realize you can climb on the ceiling. <laughs> I don't know why. It seems so obvious. Nothing over here, is there? No. Oh, no, there is. Look what we found. Fry right shard. I'm not gonna bother collecting all the pry right. There's too many of them. Uh okay, cool. Cool. Wow, so this wasn't inaccessible earlier. I was just stupid. <laughs> Fair enough. Gen Geonosian. There are, of course, tons of chests we can't open still. Look at look how many there are. Look at how am I meant to resist? <laughs> how? <laughs> okay, right. Oh, God, I can see so many chests. Oh, this is... Oh, God. Oh, to tell you what though, we're going over there, so, you know, that's fine. Right, let's go... Oh my god. No, nah, let's just go to Mountain Ascent. Let's go to Mountain Ascent. Am I dead? Oh, Cal, for God's sake. I know there's a bird thing. I just, I feel like I should be able to do it, so I keep doing it. Wow, oh, that's a high-level enemy for this area. All right, okay, uh, let's go fast travel over here. I feel like this area could have a much more, a nicer place fast travel point, shall we say. It's, it's a bit of a trek. Like, just have it in the middle of town, you know? Make everything easy for me. Grumble, grumble, grumble. I think is, I don't mind difficulty, but I like convenience. You know what I mean? Those are different things. People confuse tedium with difficulty quite a lot. This is too much of a trek to me <laughs> for me to be okay. I've spent a good 20 seconds of my life now running across here, and it's, it's deeply upsetting. Let's go to Mountain Ascent, grab a thousand bloody chests, and then check out what I think is a chamber. I'm so close to leveling up. My god. Let's travel. Dying now would be <laughs> deeply upsetting. Mountain. Mountain, 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 mountain. There we go. Okay, so this is where we came earlier. When we first got through that green... The green... But did we come here post-green barrier? We did, didn't we? Yeah. 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 Okay. Chests. Many thousands of chests. I think some of them are probably red, and that's why we can't get them anyway. Scuba. Your position. We got no more range to Ow. <laughs> See you later. Alright, well, I guess we have to go talk to Scoover again. Which I feel like I've done constantly. Can I drop here? Is that okay? Yeah. And one of my chest. Wait, did was he here before? Ooh, oh, nice! Oh, yeah, very cool. They go with the um, go with the jacket. Oh, they look great. Got another Kobo Spiker. Okay, I mean that's one chest.
And uh, yet another tail from Scuba. This is number 10. Only two left after this. I'm a little worried, though, because he just seems to be appearing out of nowhere. <laughs> like, it makes me worried that I'm never going to find him again. But I clearly didn't come down here, so... What are you fishing for? I'm hunting the ferocious me. Uh, did you know the me was the very first fish we Scuba caught? That must have been quite a day. Aye, hey, I was barely yee-high back then. Little Scuba swam headlong into the creature's mouth. Okay, talk to me about the me fish. Let me check this. Da, 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 the show. Oh, seed pods does show up as well. Interesting. Okay. The me fish. The me fish is a deceiver. It presents in a gregarious fashion all wide fins and bright colours, but past the ostentatious exterior is a vicious, daring predator. Its mouth, which protrudes from its flat body, is lined with hundreds of small but razor like teeth, which savage the smaller fish upon which it feeds. They have also been known to frequently draw blood from those who try to catch them. No bare flesh is safe from a me fish. How do I... There we go. Yeah, 10 out of 12. All right. But, plucky as I was, I couldn't digest me before fishing fellows pulled us out. Sounds more like it caught you. Hey, it takes me back. <laughs> Stick around, boy, and I'll top us off with a tail. Hey, our story nears its end. I discovered that Captain Whit was plundering my very home seas for exotic fish. And in the process, starving the old tars who raised me from a wee yoke. I spent many months in search of them. At long last, I discovered them on the salted shores of the third moon of Antine. A hide to Antine, and tracked me foe to the Gracchus Trench. A fissure sliced clean through the moon's heart. There, amongst the brine and black, I found him. One you quit and his vile crew, surrounded by glumbering eels, spearing them with their harpoons. Captain, I cried, you've broken your promise never to harvest the seas of Sakavitar. And I said, your command be forfeit if you did not forswear my home waters. Oh, I'll scarce forget the snarl he issued as he turned to me, slow as a frozen reef. Regarding me after years of thinking me dead. This, he growled, is why you didn't toss the fish back into the sea. Before I could shake my flippers, the barb of his harpoon spun through the deep and its hook pierced me in the chest. My juices filled the water, and as my vision grew dark, I espied Wanyek, smiling sharp as a fang. That's horrible, Scuva. I told you, lad, that mine be a dark tale. I'll tell you more when next we meet. <laughs> Natural born storyteller, this lad. Uh, right, follow-up question. How do I get back up? Ah, yeah, I see that. All right, so I want to grab the chests in the area. Um, so the next one is... Um, do I go up? Do I go round? Do I go for, I go forward first, I think. Seems there's one down here as well. Oh, it's in, ah, it's in the water. Okay, that's two already that I could have got last time, so... Yeah, no excuses, really. But, yeah, I mean, you don't always find them, do you? Light moustache and patch. Not really a mustache guy. I tried to have a mustache moderately recently because I was um, Hopper for Halloween from Stranger Things. And you know what? I hated it and then it really grew on me. But long term, no. I felt awkward. I went to the park and I just <laughs> sat there with a mustache. Just felt like the weirdest guy in the world. Can't do it. Feels a little mean. Oh, this is one of those ones that we couldn't get before, so that's good. Boop. Boop. Usually blast the bits. Oh no! Oh, material for the drifter. Okay. That feels a little like, oh, we need loads of collectibles. How do we do it? Oh, well, let's split them between the two. You know, that it feels a little, little I'm not gonna say cheap, but a little, you know, 
Mm. Oh, hi. Okay, another one we couldn't do before. Very cool. And a chest we can't open anyway, seemingly. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm hit. Whew. Ah, oh, it's a nice one. Lovely. Oh, Grease is going to love this story. Shiverpede Nest. Shiverpedes hunt in small packs, but nest en masse, performing intricate mating rituals that shudding, shudderingly involve their sharpened forceps. Don't judge, magic, Cal. PD. We're not here the king shame, okay? Okay. It's a slightly bigger mustache and patch. I don't know what this area has to do with mustaches and patches, but uh, apparently quite a lot. Okay, so there's one more chest in the immediate area. I'm not going to bother the others quite now. There's another three over there, but we need to get our way up here, along there, up there, up there, up there, up there, up there. And then, I don't know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. Stop that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure it is. I'll get after him. Lift is incredible. <laughs> I should use slam more though. We should try slam out a little bit more than we have been doing. Uh, right, so I'm gonna go this way. I'm not sure I could have done that in the past. That was a little terrifying. <laughs> if in doubt, just drop kick it. <laughs> right, I'm gonna go this way. I'm just trying to keep an eye out for things we couldn't have done last time, you know? Because we definitely got up here before. Could have made it up there. Whoa, that was close. <sighs> Bloody hell, you're a nightmare, buddy. Oh, tell you Way what, those, that's simple grade we got. There's quite a lot of, um... There's quite a lot of, um... Quite a lot of force power. Could I have got across... I don't know if I got across this gap last time. Um, maybe. <laughs> Uh. Oh, did that blow his? Oh, okay. That's that's interesting to know. The slam down broke his um flamethrower thing. Oh my god, shiver peats. I forgot how annoying you are. It's been eight. Oh my god, there's so many of them. There's so many of them. So many. Right, I didn't do anything. Bloody hell, right. Last chest is... Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Could I have got around here before? I feel like maybe. Wait, what the hell? Oh, oh, I don't know how I'm... <laughs> I don't know how I survived that, actually. But I'm not going to complain. Scrapyard. Okay, cool. Hell, you're fine. Let's go do this um this uh, challenge thing, Majiggy. It seems like new rumors appear when you get the abilities that will allow you to unlock the root. Uh, nope, let's not needlessly fight both of them because <laughs> there's two of the bloody things down there. I don't think I need to go that way, right? Uh, hmm. Maybe I do. No, 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 no. Down here. And then is it through that cave over there? Oh, whatever. Oh, it's behind the waterfall. Let's see him. But yeah, obviously, be, there's no point in having a rumor for this well, earlier because we couldn't. Um... Oh, no, I'm wrong. Oh, we could have done this at any point. Okay, I just I didn't think to look behind the waterfall. Always look behind the waterfall. It's video game 101. Always look behind the waterfall. The Chamber of Detachment. Welcome, Jedi. Thank you. Our problems. Are often matters of perspective. By shifting our position, so too moves our thinking, and thus by reframing it, 
A problem may not seem so vexing after all. <laughs> Sounds familiar. Good I point, Centauri. I find this planet so energizing. There is something unique about it, no? I must show you a spring I found recently. The aura there is invigorating. Rare find. Kobo's unique properties were noted by all who visited, both for good and ill. Two Jedi discussed their favourite hidden gems across the planet's surface. I heard Dagon boarded the first transport out. Nonsense. He would never. Wherever he is, we need him. This is not good. Oh no. Dagon Gera has vanished after what was described by some as a rampage, yet others hold out hope he will appear to defend them as he has done before. Okay. This planet is so different to Coruscant. I find its quiet almost deafening by comparison. And yet, there's a unique piece to it. Two Republic Jedi are locked in conversation, discussing the differences between their new home on Kobo and their old familiar lives back in the Galactic Capital. Like, that is obviously, that is what they're doing. <laughs> I've just been thinking, like, I started reading those things ages ago, right? Um, the, uh, the, the, th I, I, I click an echo. I click the text and I, re I read what's inside the echo, right? I've been doing it for a very, very, I've, do I've been doing it since the start of the game, right? However, <laughs> like, I don't know why in retrospect, because it's, it's always just a repeat of the information. Now, it's so you've got the information there later on. I understand that. Uh, let me think about this. I'm not totally sure I understand the point of this button, if I'm honest. <laughs> I haven't quite figured out why this exists yet. Well, oh. Oh. Oh? No. Oh, no, I've got it. I just, I just got it. Okay, so. Eh? Okay. Come, come here, come here, come here. Okay, wait, wait, I'll mess up. Ah, okay, go back. You go back, go back. Come here. It's about timing. Right, come on, do you think? Okay, oh, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. No, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it, I think. Okay, uh, you come back this way, you come back this way. That might work. I just saw this gleaming. I think that's because I destroyed the stuff up there. It still it annoys me that it's still green. I don't I don't think it should be. Right, anyways. That's now pressing the button down. So we now we do this. And then hopefully I can push. Move quick. Okay. Whew. <laughs> that took me a wild minute to figure out. Jeez Louise. I'm still not totally sure what the point of me being able to stand on the button is. I think it might just be. Oh, I think we've got a couple new perks. I think it might just be so that you can um, see that you press it down lightly and they press it down heavy because obviously you need to press it down all the way for this to function. Other than that, I have no idea. Have we got everything? Let's have a little look here. Yes, six collectibles out of six. I mean, it's the first time ever that I've done this and not had to... It's a very small chamber, to be fair, but still. All right, let's go check out this other rumor.
I know that's see, it's, it's it's funny thing because that seems like an obvious thing to do, but the problem is you kind of you go through all the possibilities in your brain. There's so many things you could do in theory that. Scuba. Oh yeah, you're gonna stay here on you for a while. Uh, right, so we need to get back to a meditation point, and let's go find this other thing, which is apparently a matriarch of, what was it, a Garocco matriarch, I believe? This is very exciting. And let's find out where that is. If I was a rumor, where, God, <laughs> this is only the chests. Imagine this when we get all the others as well. It's going to be mad. All right, let's go here. We'll grab the other chest in the area. D -d Derelict dam. There's only two chests in the area that we don't have, seemingly. Three. To the dam! I just, I'm not focusing too much on getting all of them, because, um... There'll be other things to get in the future. I don't know if we're going to get everything in the chests anyway. I don't know. I'm spending a lot of time exploring now. It's more like I'm happy to do it whilst I... Um... Do the rumours, you know? But I don't think... I don't think I'm going to 100% the game. Like, let's say we get to the very end of the game. What's the point in going and collecting all the treasures to make ourselves stronger? It just seems pointless, right? Well, just to me, anyway. Should we go grab that? I like the chest because I like I like cosmetics. Cosmetics make me happy. <laughs> uh, I think we can get inside there. Maybe we can climb up there now. It's got, it's got a little peek. This is the, the bomb boy around here. Oh, hey. Wow. Okay. Okay. Um... Yeah, wow. <laughs> I do like that, that the enemies have leveled up. I'm just gonna... I know you're here, so let me just grab you, if you don't mind. Okay, not what I was trying to do. I'll have another one, thank you. These things hit like trucks, and they are not hitting this guy very hard. This tells you a lot about how strong he is. But, um... <laughs> it's, it's, pretty, it's a pretty solid way to get a kill. I think I got XP for that. Okay, so I mean, I definitely came here before. I remember doing this. I'm going to go forward and left. Did I miss this before? Or was I locked in here? Oh, I remember. Oh, I remember this. Okay. Okay. Yeah. There's, there's this creepy guy talking to me, right? Remember? Bastion Wolf. Okay. Oh, I opened it for him. Two. Oh, two tall metal. That looks really cool, actually. I do see you there, Vashton, just so you're aware. Okay, I need a screenshot of Vashton, Vashton Wolf for the uh, thumbnail. Vashton, come stand by the fire for me, please. You catch, nerd. Vashton Wolf. Uh, he's not in a great pose, though. He's definitely not a great pose anymore. Although maybe he's in a fantastic pose. No, he's in a terrible pose. Oh, he's got a cross card as well. That's cool. It's like a proper jewel. Well, it will be when I'm done taking photos. <laughs> it won't be any time soon. Thank you very much. Give me a stim. I need a photo of Ashton. Oh, that might be it. Oh, beautiful. That's the kind of stuff we're looking for. It's a little bit too bright because of the lightsabers and the, the heavy contrast, but whatever. The problem, I don't want to mess around with it anymore. It's going to get me killed. No, you won't. Not a face like that, son. Damn it, here. Fights like that are really cool, just because um, he's using the same equipment I am. I really like that. 
Door is locked. What? Really? I find that immensely surprising. <laughs> Am I just never meant to go? I, I guess I'm never meant to go in there. He just, he wanted me to open the chest. So he could get two-tone metal cosmetics. <laughs> That's what he was waiting for all this time. That seems unlikely to me, but whatever. Can I mark things, by the way? Yeah, I can mark that. Let's mark this. Let's go get that other chest and then uh, take on this Garocco, which might end up being the thumbnail anyway, but it's good to have screenshots. Of course, that then involves me remembering what screenshots I took and coming through the entire video to find the exact point I need it, but that's neither here nor there. Okay, which way are we going? Up here? Yeah, I think I've got a lift there, but I don't want to take... I want to go down, actually. I want to go down there. Uh, okay, that didn't work. <laughs> I figured it's, it's goopy. The goopiness was going to save me, but the goopiness, unfortunately, did not save me. This is very like the goopiness. Take this! Initiated. Here's Bob. This is not intended functionality. <laughs> All pass together. Oh, hey guys. Um. Ah, oh, didn't work. Get off. <laughs> right, come here. Glory in the arena. I know what I'm trying. Whatever. <laughs> Live your best life, pal. Live your best life. Um, there's got to be a way down there. I've been down there before, I think. Oh, there's a little ridge there. I think I can maybe... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should be fine. And, got us a pyrite. Very nice. Can buy lots of things I don't care about. It's much like my real life, frankly. Oh, that could have been risky. Oh, you took a hit, son. Bloody hell. Oh, hey. I'm more excited about these um, plants than I am about most things. Right, chest. Up there, apparently. Okay. Oh, no. No, it's high. It's much high. Oh, wait, no. Have I... Oh, I didn't mean to come down here at all. Uh, I've, I've just missed reading it. I need to go back up. It's actually... It's actually where the bloody thing is. Wait, can I go up this way? Can I climb this? I don't think so, right? No. I'm a big old dummy. Well, you know what? I got a prior rope, so... That's fine. <laughs> Mate, you're stuck there. Yeah, um... It, it's, in, it's in the room with the Garocco. By the looks of things, so... I do have healing, actually. I'm gonna heal. Um... Get a skill. <sighs> mm, might focus on. No, I'm gonna get um, extended slow, uh, extended confuse. I don't really use it, but whatever. How do we use confuse again? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember that either. I just need to remember to use it more. But it doesn't feel cool, and that's honestly the main problem. I can use it on this guy now. He is apparently a step too far for me. I'm not fighting him again. It's too much work. See you later, pal. I'm outie. Thank you for doing a little bit of damage, though, to ruin my, uh, my here. Oh. Well, I'm guessing that's the Garocco. Yeah, because we couldn't do this before, obviously. What's that over there? Okie dokie. This seems fine. It doesn't want to fight. Look at it. It's wholesome. It's a lovely, wholesome beast. Need my spotlight. Maybe a little bit brighter than that. 
Oh, Garocco, I'm sorry. It's like a rhinoceros brute thing. Well, that's a way to start, isn't it? Up here. Okay, this thing is um, not very strong. To say it hits like a truck, but it takes an incredible amount of damage. Oh, I'm sorry, love. You don't deserve that. Farewell, Rocco. Why is it? Why have we murdered it? <laughs> It doesn't really deserve that pain. In the hierarchical Garako pack structure, the matriarch is above all, as a more powerful specimen than male Garakos, it historically fell to the matriarch to hunt and provide for the pack. However, in the years since the Bedlam Raiders upended life on Kobo and disrupted historical herding patterns, patterns, Garako have grown increasingly hostile and unpredictable, none more than the matriarch. As such, she has now become a danger to the prospectors of Kobo, and has caused particular worry in the outpost, which lies within sight. I guess, I guess, I guess. I guess that's understandable. Can I guess them, buddy? <laughs> oh, oh, excuse me. I don't feel great about that. Let's hope we don't need it. I mean, I feel great about the stim. That's fantastic. Go to 11 now? 10? 11? Can't remember. I think it's 10. It feels like a lot. Okay, so we are done for now with Kobo, I think. I'm gonna go. Yeah, let's just let's just leave Kobo. We'll we'll spend another bajillion hours here if we have to. So let's just let's just leave Kobo. Um, we'll do a little bit of workbench when we get back onto the Mantis. And we're gonna beat this guy up anyway because he annoyed me. Gotta keep your combat skills sharp, you know. He's a toughie. Well, oh, that didn't hit. <laughs> Just need to get rid of. Why are they working together? There we go. There we go. Uh oh, I was like, "Ooh, that's gonna hurt." Oops, so's that. Okay. Speedy, stim here. See, interesting there that pull down didn't do anything while lift up does. Okay, okay. I, I know I'm playing terribly. Leave me alone. <laughs> Bloody hell! They're, they're tough guys. They really are. Didn't I kill two of those at one point? Okay, I wasn't playing well. This thing is, this is one of the problems with having loads of um, healing. You kind of, you kind of adjust to it. You know, you play, I was watching a video the other day and someone mentioned how they, they feel they, they play as well as they need to, to get by. You know what I mean? And then when things get tougher, you increase your your level. So that fight, if I'd gone in there with zero stims, I think I'd have, I think I could have done the fight without too much problem. Um, if you told me that I have to do that fight without taking a single hit, I think I'd probably do it. I think I might maybe I die once or twice, but I'd, I'd I'd definitely do the fight. But I took tons of hits because I didn't have to think about it. You know what I mean? There he is, my favorite scrapper. You know any others? I do not. But together, we've taken on a few bucket heads. Don't forget the KX droids. How are we still alive? Who knows? Be careful. Okay. Grease? How you doing? Watch yourself out there. Okay, buddy. I am going to hit up a workbench, because we have two-tone metal, and I'm really excited about that idea. 
I don't mind. My lace ever looks great. All right, let's pick some new stuff. What have we got here? The jewel list is pretty cool. Yeah, oh, I like jewel list actually. I like that. I like that though. <laughs> I might go full jewel list. Got quite a lot actually. Oh, there's 18 in total. We've got one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We've got ten out of eighteen at the moment on the emitters. D oh yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. That's the jewelist blade. Um, might be time to change up the color. I might just go classic blue. You know, oh, we started on blue. What about what about green? Let's go green for a little while. And bubble paint, Jedi paint, Jedi paint, Kashik paint, Coruscant paint, unique non-metal, hard leather, soft leather, hard plastoid, imperial, unique, anodized, worn, two, two tone. That's what I'm looking for. Two tone chrome, two tone grass, two tone splatter. Got some cool stuff. It says two tone, but it's not super two tone. You can see a little bit of like orange on the ridges of that. It highlights it really nicely, actually. Let's go for more like a classic lightsaber now. Uh, let's darken the grip, though, I think, to kind of offset what else I've done. It's a little darker. We get darker than that. It's not many like super dark colors. I know, like I saw the comments, people like, well, why do you want to have a? I know it doesn't make sense to have a red lightsaber, right? Like it's not like I know it makes. I know it doesn't make canonical sense. Doesn't mean I don't want one though. <laughs> you know. I can want things that don't make sense. I don't love what I've done to this. If I'm totally honest, I think, I think I've made it. I was really excited about the two tone metal, and it's kind of disappointed me. That's an interesting idea. I'm gonna knock down the polish though. Mix it up a little bit. Right, so we are heading back to the Shattered Moon, I believe. Is that new? No. How are we doing on time? We're okay, I'm gonna have to cut out a little bit in that little explanation we did. This episode has zipped by for me. It really has. I wonder where we should go next. To the moon. Hopefully, grab ourselves some uh, to the shattered moon. some chests. My hands are messed up. Be my fingers like super stiff. And I appealed my finger the other day. <laughs> Basically, I was peeling potatoes, and then I missed the potato. And you know what? It was the last peel. I, I was just peeling four potatoes. I peeled the first three potatoes. I was peeling the fourth potato. I was on the last little bit of the potato, and that's when I got my finger. I was the second from glory. There it is. The moon looks fantastic. Someone took, like, a really cool screenshot of this. I suppose, yeah, do this, and then... Wait, no. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, Nelly, do this, and then... Oh, do that, and then... Ah. Oh. Okay, yeah, you can get pretty close to that. I used that as a thumbnail the other day. Because I took it from someone else on Google, obviously. Nice front, Cal. We're coming in. There we go. Oh, I don't know what's going on with my fingers, though. They're super stiff. Ah, I need to stretch them. Maybe it's because I started working out again. Vulture droids. Looks like Ravis has more Separatist toys than we thought. Doesn't look like they spotted us yet. Think you can land? I don't know. The risky part's gonna be taken off again, and the last thing I want is to be stuck on this haunted rock. You could always build a second cantina. Franchise. Hey, how about you save the jokes for later, Jetpack? I can hide the mantis. Last I checked, this ship isn't equipped with a cloaking device. What is she doing? Here we go. The vultures are right in front of us. 
Trust her. <laughs> okay, that was impressive. We will drop you off. Good luck with Ravis. And to you. Hey, kid. Hurry back. Jetpack, man the guns. Copy that. Oh, and I might need some of your blood. In case I get tired. <laughs> Feels like this might be the uh, final encounter with Ravis. Make any sense of this place, Cal. Be careful. Nah. Now, let me just check. There, there's something here. Oh no, I already got it. Moving on. I have a rumor. Down there. But what? It's right next to a. Oh wow, I'm really all alone here. Um. Okay. Da, 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 da. Raiders are locking this place down. I don't, I don't, I'm curious. Mind. We don't have much time. I'm very curious about this rumor. I'm just going to go check it out now. Am I allowed to fast travel? Yeah. Hang on. It's right next to the. Fo what could that possibly be? It must have been something I've had access to in the past. Little confused here, ladies and gentlemen. Little confused. Hey, you okay, pal? Find Mash. What? Mash. Oh, Mash. Right, okay. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Okay, okay. I think that's the, um. Wow, okay, that's not working at all. Hey, BD. Oh, come on. I've had much worse. Right, I need to. My God! Too much for you. Jesus Christ, son! I need to kill this guy first, I think, logically. Got some shield. Buddy. Okay, there we go. Right. <laughs> so the rumor was Mash. So it was a bounty hunt, not a rumor. Start running. Oh. <laughs> okay. Taking jukes to a whole new level, son. Better watch. Still staring at him. Can't feel it. Buddy. I don't think I can lift him. I'm taking you down. Bloody hell. I, I can down. Screw you, Mash. Find something. Haxian Droid Brood Brawler Bounty Droid. Leaning against their mechanical propensity for strength, these variants of the Haxian Brood Bounty Droid deal solely in the delivery of massive physical trauma. With their recognizable cockiness, they will happily pummel their targets into pulp, insulting them as they do. And a bounty book. And I'm waiting for the scan to come in. Do a little dance. Haxian Brood Commando. That shield was really annoying. Haxian Brood Enforcers are drawn from the dark pits of the Outer Rim to run protection for Sork Tormo's operations. Armed with powerful blaster rifles and sturdy deployable shields, they attack with considered and calculated menace. At close range, their shields can deliver a concussive burst capable of disorientating their foe, readying them for capture or execution. 
Las Buco. Right, skill points. Two is usually enough. There's a couple of threes, but usually two is fine. Anything else I really want? Um, maybe I could have confused him. I should have tried. I might think about it. Hmm. I am running out of things I care about. We should extend slow next, I think. I wonder if I've ever done that. I'll grab that anyway, just in case. You never know. <laughs> Maybe I have. Well, I don't think I've ever done that in my life. <laughs> okay, good to know. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've ever seen that before. I never thought about it. I always block rather than evade in that situation, so. Interesting. Right, so we will end it there. Question mark, smiley face. Yeah, we've got a new thing we can access over there. So there's actually no chests on this. There's one chest over there in an area that we haven't been to yet. No chests that I've missed here at all. So that's cool. Thank you for joining me. Cheers, much as always. Bye-bye.